So, y'all remember as a kid, the boogeyman. <laughs> and um, I don't know if, I don't know how everybody dealt with their uh, fear of the boogeyman. But as for me, right, um, for some reason, I thought the boogeyman was scared of couples. So I thought that, you know, by me putting the cover over my head whenever I was thinking that he was coming, that that would automatically just be like, bam, oh, that's the cover. Let me go ahead on by my business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? That's just how I felt, like my boogeyman. And, you know, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. My boogeyman was scared of covers. So every time I put my covers over my head, yeah, I felt safe, okay? Now, <laughs> as an adult, man, it is cracking me up. But as a kid, that cover was so serious. Like, you, you just got to understand. Like, listen, I wish a boogie man would. Where my cover at? You know? <laughs> but no, seriously. So... <sighs> Looking back from an adult perspective or whatever, um, just knowing that that whole that whole villain, that whole situation, that whole fear was based off of what I believed in my mind, and um, as an adult, um. Somebody, everybody has a fear in their life. And you got fears that are, are small fears. You got fears that are, are, are you know, medium-sized fears. And then you got so, so, some fears, they're so, they're so scary to the point to where it literally messes with your health, you know, or whatever. And so, um... You have to look at that same thing of going back to childhood and saying, this is all in my mind. Like, I have nothing to fear. Like, whatever I think I'm going to be harmed with or harmed by, it is only a mental thing, right? And then when you go back to your creation of how you were created and your creator, let me give you Bible. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it literally says God, our creator, right? God has not given us the spirit of fear. So if God didn't give it to us, First and foremost, it, it's no good for us. It does our life no good to have because God equipped and gave us everything that we will ever need in order to, to live this thing called life out, right? And if God didn't give us fear, where did it come from? Where did it come from? If it didn't come from God, it had to have came from something other than God, right? Have you ever noticed as an as an older person that the, th the very things that you fear the most are things that are literally what you need in order to be able to better your life? It could be a fear of starting a new career and it's, it's, it's new to you, so you've never done it before, so you don't know how it'll turn out. Will they like you? Will people, you know, be able to, to, to reson you know, res resonate with you? I mean, it's always going to be the fear of un unknown or, or, or starting that new company or that new business. Uh, will my customers like it? Will I even have any customers? Or, or maybe it's marriage. Oh, I've never done this before. This is the first time that, 
You know, I, 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 anybody in my family or anybody in my I, my household that I grew up with, you know, that it, it's ever or or nobody has ever had a successful marriage that I know. Or will I be a good husband? Will I be a good wife? Or or maybe it's parenthood. Oh, I've never had a baby before. Oh, I I, I carried it inside of my womb, and oh yes, my wife or or whatever my mate carried the child inside of uh, uh, of their womb, and 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 now we 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 go nine months later to the hospital and then boom here's a baby and all they giving us is discharge paperwork they ain't really telling us from a to z what we gonna do and how we're supposed to raise this baby from 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 zero years all all the way up until adulthood like it's fear 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 financial fear health fear fear from all over and it's only because you don't have a clue what's next some of y'all are watching this right now and are scared out of your mind on something that is going on in your life and on up until this point you didn't think anybody understood or you didn't even think that anybody cared or you didn't even or you or you or you felt the shame or or, or 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 you felt all alone in your fear because see fear gets its power when it's in silence the more you start talking about it the more you 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 bring people on to know about it the the, the lesser power that fear has over over you yeah because then you get to hear how other people have probably had the same fear and how they conquered it and then it gives you empowerment to know that oh okay well it can't be that bad because if this person made it out and and survived it i can too you get you get to throw on a cake now and you start feeling like a superhero in the moments uh that you once had that dealt with fear because god say i i not only did I not give you fear, but I also gave you a, a, a power, though. I gave you power to conquer your fear. I gave you love to, to, to conquer your fear. And this is my favorite. I gave you self-control. Because fear lies within yourself. And if you have the ability to control yourself, you have the ability to be able to control your fear. Now, let me talk to the enemy that is attacking you for a minute. I don't care what lies the enemy tell you to try to boost up and give your, and give your, your fear muscles. You gonna stick a pin because them muscles that come from from the enemy that pump that that pump that fear up it's inf it's inflatable. So all you gotta do is take a pin, aka all you gotta do is take the word of God. All you gotta take is the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of you and poke that thing, poke that fear muscle, poke that thing and let all the air out of it so that you can go on to being the best version of you that you were. Created. Created to be in. We not going to be. We, we, we not going to be fearful no more. No, that, that ain't what we doing. We, 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 we going to finish this year on out being fearless. Each and every one of you. I pray that you tackle every last one of your fears in your life. As always, I love you. And goodbye.